Hello, I'm Alfonso Severos from Second Saturday. Right now you are watching Health and Wellness with Rose and Green. Can I do recommend a holistic approach? I think generally, globally, that's where the world is heading. We have to remember uh, who we are. Welcome to another episode of Health and Wellness. I'm your host, Rose and Green. Our guest today is a trained herbalist practicing herbal medicine for the past 35 years. This renowned herbalist is completely dedicated to providing personalized high quality care on a as needed or preventative basis. His service to humanity plans over, um, spans over 35 years on the island of Grenada, New York, Virginia, Atlanta, and numerous states and countries throughout the world. We are referring to no other person than the master herbalist. First, we're going to say that we're going to give thanks to the Most High, you know? Yeah. Glory to Him. Uh, sickle cell affects a lot of people from African descent. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of the, a lot of Mediterranean people, like Indians also. And it's, uh, it's a condition where there is, there, there, there is no um, oxygen with the hemoglobin moving in the okay. cell, right. cell membranes. So then it's, it, it becomes stuck and it, it affects the cell membranes and uh, they start to collapse and you start to have pain in the joints mm -hmm. and your loss of the eye because start to affect your liver. Right. All right, so that's, in a layman term, that's what it is. Right. You know, no oxygen going to the cells. But in the medical system, they say there's no cure. Mm. But we have been treating people who, are, who have sickle cell, or who are sickle cell, as they call it in the Caribbean, and they've been getting very good results okay. from the treatment. And the call of sickle cell is, is because the cells become sick because there's no oxygen going to the cells, right? right? If there's no oxygen going to the cells, oxygen is important, mm. right? If there's no oxygen going to the cells, no, the cells become like that, right. sickle. The first mineral trace element that prevents the cell from becoming sickle is zinc. And zinc, this, zinc is found in a few places. It's found in the thymus gland. The thymus gland is right under your neck here. And it's, it's what we call the, the master gland of the immune system. Right. And it houses your T lymphocytes. Mm -hmm. And it, helps, it produces a, a hormone called thymosin. Right? But you need zinc in the thymus right. to produce that particular hormone to produce your T lymphocytes. Right. Now, if zinc is not in the system, the cell becomes like that. If zinc is there, the cell will become sicker. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. Then you have vitamin E, mm -hmm. which is from nuts and seeds, all from nature, you know. Right. You know what I'm saying? They kill the from the nature now. Right. And um, vitamin E helps uh, send oxygen to the cells. So the cells could move, or the, the hemoglobin could move properly with oxygen. Right? right? And then we use um, lots of vitamin C, about 5,000 milligrams per day, buffered. Buffered means that the vitamin C is going to be um, a uh, solution that take is turned to like alkaline 7.0 right. and then it helps to keep the tissues well plus the B12 to prevent all the joint pain. Right. And then we use herbs to help the liver, um, like a herb, like the very important herb is called dandelion root. We use that there. And we use another herb called nettle leaf and another herb called dandelion leaf and then we fix the cell that way. Do we take all of it together at sure. the same time yes. or do you take it at different times? Well, no, we take everything, everything at the same time because. I don't believe in vitamin, multivitamins, you know. Because with the multivitamins, you're only getting 30 milligrams and 5 milligrams and 10 milligrams, but you need at least 15 milligrams of zinc per day. Okay. You need at least 800 IU of the uh, vitamin E per day. Why and is that? Because the, the, the more of the, the, the vitamins and minerals, is the, is, the, is, the, is the better the solution right. to fixing right. the problem. Well, so for some persons, we have three meals a day, yeah. but we only go like probably... Once per day. Once per Lots day. Lots of people. Or even um, once a couple of days. Right. Because how, they, how bad is that? Because they create a traffic jam. And again, because they eat the foods the wrong way. Mm -hmm. If you have to, if, if you eat the foods, if you eat the starters with proteins, it's a bad combination of foods. Okay. They call it all acid foods. Mm -hmm. And they create an acid terrain, so they cause a traffic jam because starches don't break down in your stomach, mm -hmm. in your mouth and your intestines. Mm -hmm. So once the, once the starch meets the protein in the stomach, the protein breaks down in the stomach now, which slows the starch. Right. When the starch slows up, you get what you call slow transit time, so it constipation eventually. 